Well, hell's bells. I didn't think it was gonna snow this bad, Rocky. Now we gotta stay inside. What do you say? Hey guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and I'm now on Patreon. If you guys want to go over there and check out my Patreon page, I'll put a link in the description below. For as little as like a buck a month, you can watch these videos ad-free. And the higher up you go on pledges, the more cool stuff I'm giving away. So more information on my Patreon page, I'll, I'll hit you up later in the video and let you know more about that and what we're doing there. Hey, today we're going to finish up our review of the Equinox coils. I know I've already done a video on both the 15 inch coil and the six inch coil. And so today we're gonna to talk about my favorite coil out of all three, the 11, six and 15. But then we're gonna talk a little bit about these new Equinox coils coming out made by Coil Tech. And they come in different sizes. They come in a 14 by nine, a 10 by five. I'm really excited about that. And a true 15. Uh, they're coming out soon. I'll share more of that information at the end of the video, but I'll definitely give you some place to go where you can get one of these when they do come out. Uh, in this video, we're gonna start out with the original coils that came with the MindLab Equinox, or the ones you could purchase and uh, that were made by MindLab. And I've done my reviews on all three, but today I'm gonna to tell you which one I favor the most out of all three, and I'll tell you why. All right, guys, below I have all three coils right here for you to see and the difference in sizes. And like I said, I've done my reviews on the, both the 15 and the six inch coils here. Uh, each one of these coils has their own purpose. The six inch, for instance, is really good in real trashy areas. So you get really great separation. The 15 inch is really good in open areas. And uh, I suspect it would be great on the beach. I have not used it on the beach, but that's one of the reasons I, why I wanted to get this coil for the summer. But um, I have done some, some searching or some hunting with this coil. I did take it to a couple of Civil War sites. I did find some stuff with it. Had a little bit of trouble pinpointing with it. Um, but until I started figuring it out, I, you know, I was, I was having a little bit of trouble. This is not the coil you want to, you want to hunt in, in, uh, corn stalks with. It is, uh, very tough to swing in corn stalks. But, you know, with anything, you know, you get these coils, they're made for a purpose. This, this 15 inch is made for wide open fields and, um, things like that, or the beach, which I think it'll be really, really good at. Um, the six inch is really good for getting in those tight spaces, getting better separation in those junky, junky permissions. I really like that coil and for those specific reasons, but I really like the 11 inch. I'm gonna have to go back and just say for the, for the record, the 11 inch by far is the best coil out of all three of these. And I'm not lying, I'm being completely honest in my opinion. You get great depth with it. Uh, with the 15 inch, you do get about an inch more depth overall, but not much more than that. Uh, the six inch has really great depth for the small for a small coil as it is, so it's a really good coil too. But the eleven inch is just all around. It's what, it's the best coil for the Equinox in my opinion. It gets great separation. It finds those silver coins. It just it just works really well. Even on the beach, I had a great time with it. So overall, my big pick, my favorite pick of all three of these coils, is going to be the eleven inch. So, with that being said. So with that being said, would I get rid of any one of those coils? And the answer is no. I like all three of them. They all have their purpose. They all have their use. And I'll continue to use them whenever I get into situations that warrant an open field. I'll use the 15 inch if I get in a situation where I got a trashy site or I need to get in underneath some, uh, maybe a porch or in between rocks and roots and in the woods or something like that. I'll use the six inch for real trashy conditions. So. All three of them have, but have their own purpose. But the 11 inch by far is the most superior coil, uh, search coil out for the for the Equinox, in my opinion. But now let's talk about these Coil Tech search coils for the Equinox. All right, so the Coil Tech coils are coming. They're coming out with uh, it's a company in based out of Australia. They're coming out with a like I like I mentioned earlier. They're coming out with a 14 by nine, a true 15, and they're coming out with a uh, five by 10. So just for curiosity's sake, what, how big is a five by 10? Well, I got the five by eight coil I used for the Garrett AT Pro in the water. And this is why I'm excited because 
we've been waiting for the Equinox to, for a coil to come out similar to like the 5x8 on the AT Pro. The 5x8 on the AT Pro, let's just, I'll just show it to you. All right, so here's the 5x8 coil on the AT Pro. That We use this all the time in the water. All, us water hunters, river hunters, I love this coil. It's been a true, it's been a great coil for the water and, and amongst other things, trashy sites and so forth for the AT Pro, AT Max, AT Gold, what have you. Here's a six inch for the Mind Lab Equinox. It's just too small, right? It's it this the skinny length actually gets you in between rocks and stuff when you're hunting in the water. But the the coil tech five by ten is actually gonna be a little bit longer. And I put a tape measure down there to give you give you an idea of how long that's gonna be compared to this five by eight. So that is gonna be pretty exciting for the coil tech coils. I'm really excited for it. I've been waiting for that kind of a coil to come out in a long time. And um and so now it looks like we're going to get one. They're also coming out with a 15 inch. I'll show it to you on the screen here. A true 15 inch coil. It's all around 15 inch. The suspicion is that it will get superior depth over perhaps the 14 by 9. That, or I'm sorry, the uh, the 15 inch coil by my, my lab. Um, the 14 by 9 as you see on the screen. Not really sure what the significance is of that coil compared to the 15 inch. I think the 15 inch coil tech is gonna be really great on the beach, really great in open fields, just like the, you know, the Mind Lab 15 inch coil will be. But I do believe, and there is a theory that it will get more depth than the original Mind, Mind Lab 15 inch coil. So speculation on my part, I have no proof of that. I'm just, that's, that's just what I'm hearing. Um, but we'll have to see. The great thing about, you know the internet and when these coils do come out uh you'll get to see firsthand the real truth you know for the most part you'll be able to whittle through the the fake videos and the ones that actually are the truth telling videos but for me if i get all three of these to test i will test them the best i can the best way i know how on my permissions and at the beach or what have you and we'll get a good honest assessment of it we'll do a couple air tests too i know a lot of people don't like air tests but uh, air tests do tell you something at least you know it's significant to compare them to the original coils and that'll that'll give a good indication of, of how much more depth you might be getting with these coils but again ground conditions soil conditions all that stuff matters when you do those kind of tests so take them we'll take those with a grain of salt now where can you get these coils that are coming out supposedly they'll be out in march by the time you see this video hopefully i'll have it out before march i've been sitting on it for a while I and mean, i recommend if you want to get one of these coils you reach out to fort bedford metal detectors get a hold of keith leppert and uh his number and information there is on the screen um i know he he has a waiting list or he's he started with a list that he has people who are interested in these coils to get on that list i'm on that list so uh, get on over there and, and give them a ring and tell me you want one of these coils that are coming out. That's really it for me about these new coils. I'm really excited about the 10 by 5 because or the 5 by 10 because it's going to be a little bigger than that one. So that's going to be exciting. Really good for the water. And I'm telling you, the Equinox is going to be really good in the water. So you might want to think about getting that coil if you're a river hunter like I am. If you guys wouldn't mind checking my my page out over on Patreon, uh, you'll see this video and other videos I put out and a lot of other things behind the scenes about me and what I do in this hobby is in, as well as some other things I'm doing in this hobby. Right now I'm modding out a kayak that I'm putting all that information over there at Patreon uh, for my patrons who are, who are pledging. So there's just a lot of cool stuff that I'm opening up to you that I wouldn't really typically share on YouTube. Uh, the videos will all eventually be on, on YouTube as well, but I'm giving my patrons a, a video link that is ad-free, so you get to watch videos ad-free. And um, just a lot of cool stuff going on over there. And if depending on the pledge membership, you could you could receive some really cool stuff from me. Uh, my last couple pledge pledgers they got, uh, they did a $5 pledge. And they got some Civil War relics sent by me in the mail, as, long, as well as a, a cool car decal of my logo. So um, just some little bonuses for you there if you decide to join me over on Patreon. All right, guys, that's it for me in this video. And uh, I promise you, once the snow melts, we'll get out and do some hunting. I know I've been lacking on the videos lately, but um, I've got snow everywhere. So we got to get rid of the snow before we can do anything digging i am actually going to be digging soon here at the end of march so there will be a civil war hunt coming up so that will be a video i will surely make for you all right until next time see ya
or see you wherever the camera is. <laughs> I'm probably looking at the wrong place. And another mental metal video. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.